Um, I use the uh, 12 houses of the zodiac. And um, as the cards um, appear in each house, then that is the influence that is um, coming through at this time for you. So in the uh, first house, we have Saturn return age. So the first house is everything to do with the self, your appearance, your uh, observable characteristics, your personality, how you appear to others, um, your physical body, your physical regime, what you're going through, you know, your, you know, working out and, and sort of how you're making your way through your day. Um, it's also, um, self-oriented interests and, um, just basically what you are projecting outwardly to others that you meet. So, um, if you, you know, it's your mask that you're presenting to others. So with Saturn return there, um, you're actually, um, Saturn return is about w wisdom. It's about, um, gaining wisdom, um, over through experience. Uh, because a return implies that it's coming back. And Saturn does take, it, it has two major turns in your life, um, around about 29. And then the next one is the, you know, a bit later, another 29 years further on after that. So, um, Sort of middle to late fifties uh, is what you're looking at, <clears throat> but but basically what it Im implies here is that it's um, it's wisdom coming back, wisdom that you've gained through experience. So some of you, are, if you are older, you may be feeling uh, feeling your wisdom, the weight of your wisdom, or you may just be feeling your age. Um, uh, but it's it's all about um, harnessing that wisdom and putting it into action. So you need to, it's also about um, being responsible and facing what needs to be done. Um, it's kind of a pairing back um, and taking stock. Uh, it's about changing what you have outgrown. Um, so you need to be realistic um, and uh, release what just isn't working for you anymore. Uh, and that can be in a variety of ways, all to do with the self, your physical body and yourself and how you are moving through the world and what you're projecting to others. Um, you need to face your truth as well. Dig deep, um, have a good, um, you know, spend time in contemplation, actually figuring out um, what it is, who you are, and what you've gained over um, over your your life. Um, you need to leave the past behind. Uh, as I said, what's not working for you, you can't keep dragging it around, so let it go. Um, but Saturn also is about um, working towards solid achievement. So you may be just bringing that wisdom in now, that wisdom and turning it into action to actually get get you that solid achievement. Because if you work with Saturn, if you work with the the, the taskmaster, um, then um, eventually you will receive you will see the achievements and you will see the rewards, um, and the achievement will be based on solid ground. Um, you don't want to be um, aiming for something that just isn't right uh, to begin with. It's all about putting um, systems in place, being um, methodical and having having um, a, you know, a good and strong foundation. Um, you need to look after yourself, your health as well, because um, Saturn rules all the ligaments of the body, the bones, your skeletal structure and your uh, teeth. Um, and um, you need to build endurance and fortitude as well with this. So, um, so harness your resources, contemplate what needs you, what you can cut away, what you can do without, and then move forward, um, slow and steady and build yourself up, um, so that you can face, um, the future and, um, uh, and, and build, um, build something, um, that you can actually, um, that can actually support you going forward. So with it, this could even be a physical regime you want to bring in, or it could just be the way you are um, projecting yourself uh, uh, amongst others. Um, you may be coming across as quite serious at the moment amongst the people that you meet. Um, and this is the Saturnian influence coming in because it is serious. It is about um, contemplation and cutting away what doesn't serve you anymore. Then um, we have in the second house, we have Mercury retrograde, which is reinvention. So during a Mercury retrograde uh, phase, anything with a re in front of it applies. So um, this can be a revisit, a revision, uh, rearrange, reduce, or redo. Uh, it's anything like that. So it's basically going over something again um, to pick up um, areas that perhaps would never have worked or won't work, um, picking up mistakes, picking up errors, 
um, checking details again, um, uh, because ultimately, if you do that, you will um, eventually get a, a much better product uh, or a much better um, um, result. So now, uh, this is your second house, which is all to do with your money and your income. Um, it's to do with what you own, what you possess, your possessions. Um, and it's also your um, uh, your self-worth and your values, your value systems. Um, it's property as well, real estate, land, that sort of thing. So, um, it, this is, uh, with this, with this card appearing in your, this house, it's, um, best to postpone, uh, making, uh, purchases, um, and big decisions about your money coming in. Best to postpone that. Uh, also signing documents, um, or contracts, just avoid for the moment, um, until the, this period has passed. Normally, in a, in a regular chart, um, uh, Mercury goes retrograde about three times a year, more or less, for about three weeks. Um, but as it's appearing here, anywhere between one week and three weeks, you may be feeling this. Um, so just feel your way along until you feel the energy shift and then you'll get the go ahead. Uh, but just at the moment, uh, rather just stay as you are, um, but also go over your plans. Um, again, um, there may be delays as well. Um, it's about, it's about double checking facts, checking your emails, all forms of communication, because things can go awry. Uh, there can be misunderstandings. Um, emails just don't get sent or they don't get received or what you say gets misunderstood. Um, it's a good, it's a good time to review plans. Um, uh, because it will be better afterwards, but you need to go through that sifting and sorting and clearing out and making it better and picking up errors as well, mistakes. Um, don't get off track though. You know, you've got to plod along and you've got to tackle it. Um, this also, um, if you're using, um, electronics and computers and, and also your vehicles, uh, to do with the second house activities, then, um, you may uh, experience um, some sort of um, repair or uh, the, the electronics and the computers just don't work or you, you you may also need to back up documents as well because sometimes things just go just go on the blink and then you lose documents or, or things just don't get sent or they don't get stored and so on so it's it's all about that um, if you if you're writing or involved in writing things or you're making plans and budgets, and so on for your money, um, you may re be required to do some kind of, kind of recount or rewrite um, with that. Um, this also comes in um, later on for your eighth house, which again is bringing up the fact that you're not to take action or don't take action just at the moment uh, with your big finances. So this is the two are uh, the two work together. This is your personal income and money, and this uh, the eighth house is all about big money, your bigger investments and things like that. So the two are are indicating that it's just time to wait uh, and to go over your plans, review before you move forward um, uh, with anything major. Then in the third house, we have uh, Pisces, I believe. So your third house is everything to do with um, your communication, whether this is written or verbal or your body language. It also governs um, documents and um, contracts. Um, so now um, with Pisces, um, I believe <clears throat> there's dual meanings to this because Pisces is dual. Um, but the main, the main, um, the, the most uplifting aspects of Pisces are, um, it's all about service, about sensitivity and compassion. So uh, what you say is going to matter. Your words are going to matter. Um, and this could affect your uh, siblings and your aunts, uncles, cousins. Those are the kind of family members that fall under the third house. It could also be the wider public. Um, so it's also about having a bit of, uh, a bit of faith um, and, um, uh, sort of avoiding um, pessimism um, and also cynicism um, because that can be the flop side of the positive aspects of Pisces. So um, it could also be that you may need to be putting boundaries in uh, with others uh, with, with regards to how you communicate or just how you communicate with others. Um, you, you know, you don't want to be, um, you don't want to be sort of manipulated by others um, keep your speech positive. 
Um, this card also brings in the arts as well. So whether this is creative writing or artistic endeavors, anything like that. So, but it's, it's your communication and it's your expression. So therefore, if you're expressing yourself with art or with written works and so on, you have the ability to now access much higher levels of consciousness with a, with Pisces in there. It's imaginative. It's creative. There's fantasy there. Um, there's also, um, you know, reaching higher levels. There's also access to psychic abilities. So that's like clear, clear, uh, sentience, clear audience, all of those. Um, but it's, it's really about your communication, um, your interactions with others, what you say and what you hear as well. Um, so you'll have greater access to spirituality, um, um, and, um, creativity. Um, this house also, uh, rules, uh, short trips. This is local trips. So trips to water, any body of water, um, uh, will be very beneficial for you at this time. Then, um, in the fourth house, we have Grand Cross, uh, Provoker. So, um, this is, um, um, this is a card which is going to bring what's indicating that you're going to be experiencing um, in your home life. This is your home, your actual home, your home life. And it's also to do with your ethnic identity, your roots and your foundation. You're going to be experiencing a bit of tension um, at this time. Uh, so it's almost it's like frustration um, and feeling restricted in some way, shape or form. So it could be to do with your actual physical home. Perhaps you're requiring to make a move now or you want to make a move and you just can't at the moment or things are difficult or they are, there are obstacles coming up for you. So the main thing with this is to persevere, not to give up. Just keep going through those difficulties. Just handle them one step at a time. Work your way through each one. Um, you may just feel, um, you may just feel a, a bit of exasperation sometimes, like you no sooner get through one than another thing appears. Um, um, it's also, you may just feel a bit like you're being pulled in different directions as well. So it's, it's, it's sort of four angles, um, multiplied, uh, and they're all sort of putting you under a bit of pressure. Uh, it's pressure to grow, which is a catalyst for, um, movement and change. So you may actually be wanting to make a change or be in the process of making a change and you've just got a lot to deal with. You could be suffering a bit from a bit of overwhelm. Um, but stick with the process and see it through to victory. Um, focus on your priorities and get organized and uh, realistic. Um, also, your communication is going to be important as well. Then um, in the uh, fifth house, you have Jupiter, which is um, abundance. So your fifth house is um, uh, to do with your children. If you have children or you're working or you're exposed to children, um, it's also um, your creativity, your creative abilities, and that can take many forms. It's not necessarily artistic. Artistic and creative are different things. Creative, creativity, you can be a creative thinker, a creative writer, or you could be a, a creative in the way you arrange your home or creative in the way you create uh, you, 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 um, uh, your children's parties or your um, finances even. You can be creative in many, many ways. You can be a creative speaker. So um, creativity is a huge, a huge um, aspect of ourselves and we can all access it. It just may not, may not look like somebody else's creativity. It's going to be unique to you. So the fifth house covers children, creativity. It also covers love affairs. Um, and it covers um, recreational activities of all kinds. So having fun, going, you know, all kinds of um, sort of whether it's outdoor, indoor activities, games, um, it's also sports, that kind of thing. Um, so with Jupiter Abundance um, coming in, this is a lovely card to be having in this house because it brings rewards and benefits. Um, it's also luck, uh, abundance and prosperity um, within those aspects of the fifth house. So. You could be um, seeing this in your children or you could be experiencing it yourself and then you are able to pass on those good feelings and, and um, happiness onto your children um, through um, generosity and joy and happiness and things like that. So um, you could be just really enjoying a very um, loving and abundant relationship with your children or with your other with your love of, in your love affair. Not necessarily money. Abundance can be many things. Can be just feeling happy, feeling content, or just feeling grateful 
uh, for all that you have um, and grateful for your your interactions with your children. Um, there, there's the, all of those coming in. Um, it could also be that you're overcoming obstacles in this arena. So that's children, creativity or love affairs or having fun or just um, enjoying various types of sports and games. You could be really winning and be very lucky. Um, you could be really having um, success um, and, and reward for effort with when it comes to your creative projects. Um, so you could also be receiving divine help uh, in those areas. Um, it's important to stay positive and keep your hand on the wheel, though. Um, so it, it, accept the abundance, be grateful, and spread it around as well. Um, and just be um, just be content with what you're receiving, but don't um, slip off and um, um, you know sort of lose sense, lose sight of what it is you still need to do and what you still need to work on. Um, so, so it's also about keep keep going, don't give up. Um, because there are benefits coming in. Um, you know, it's also about restoring faith as well. Um, you could, it's, it's about enjoying freedom as well. So there could be freedom from routine. Maybe you're enjoying nice fun activities or you, you enjoying, um, gaming and, um, sort of sports and, and really, um, you know, getting out and about and actually re feeling rewarded, uh, or, or finding the activities rewarding. Um, it's also about um, you may if it's a, if it's to do with a love affair you may um, come into contact with a Jupiter type person. So this could be somebody who's um, uh, quite social. They're generous. They they um, outgoing. They um, they enjoy freedom and they enjoy fun. So it's a it's that kind of thing. They could also be um, have religious interests um, and deeper philosophical in interests. They could also be um, studying um, because Jupiter rules all of those. It could be somebody who enjoys teaching. You know, there's various ways that this can come in. But or, or you could just be in, enjoying an abundant relationship with this person, which is generous and loving and social. You know. Um, then in the uh, sixth house, we have another very supportive card. This is a uh, part of fortune. This is about increase. So it's, it, 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 it is exactly what it says there. Um, but the deeper aspect of, of this card is that, um, it's, it's about your particular talents and abilities, which perhaps have been unacknowledged or just haven't been present in you. Um, and this, if you're into past lives, it could be stuff you're bringing in from a past life. Suddenly those talents and abilities are being activated, or it could just be something that you've, you've sort of known about, but you've never really uh, focused on, or you've never had the need to focus on it, or it could just be something that rises up out of the blue. So it's, it's coming to the surface, really. That's what it is. Um, so now this is coming up in your sixth house, which is everything to do with work, your work projects, mastery of your craft. Um, it's also about your workplace, your work colleagues, and um, it's also about your health and diet and pets. So you could be getting more pets, um, but also um, with your with health and diet, you can expect to be feel, um, having good health at this time and finding balance. It's about finding balance and moving forward uh, to reach your goals. You know, obstacles are being removed, things like that. So um, if it's to do with your work um, side, um, it's a very beneficial um, influence to be having. So you could can expect to be um, having increase. Uh, perhaps it's an increase of work. Um, but there's also sort of a destiny or fate um, aspect of this as well. So you could be in the right place at the right time to pick up 